What's happening guys? I'm out here at this creek location again, fishing after a cold front, catching some big early spring slabs yet again. Stick around, you're gonna like this one. Ooh, that's a real good fish, guys. That is a solid fish. Oh yeah. He is digging. I have a sneaking suspicion that fishing is going to be particularly slow today. We had a cold front come through yesterday. Temperatures on Sunday were 67 degrees. Today we've been struggling to even get up above the mid 40s. A ton of rain yesterday, all day long. So I have a feeling these fish may be just a little bit slow. And that's all right. We'll throw a couple different colors at them. Hit a couple different depths. We may even walk a little further down the creek. There's a fish. He feels like a pretty good one too. Yep, he ain't too shabby. They're a little slow, but we can figure them out. Not a bad little crappie. Yeah, man, that's a pig right there. Probably the biggest crappie we've ever caught. Yeah, no doubt, buddy. That's a, uh, hell, that's 13 incher. Yeah, his tail hangs a good inch off that ruler. If I don't end up keeping him, I'll turn him loose for All sure. Right. Solid fish though, buddy, good work, man. Look at that freaking pig. 13 incher, big old black nose. Fella just comes down here and says, here you go, Jake. Well, shoot, we'll put it in the bucket. Most likely I'm gonna let that fish go though, cause that is way too nice of a fish to take home and put in the fryer. I'd rather keep 10, 11, 12 inch fish, honestly. Them big ones like that, turn them loose for somebody else to catch. Very rarely do I keep 13 inch fish or over. There's another one, yep, okay. All right, maybe I was wrong. Another good fish, they're just out a little bit further than they were last time I was down here, guys. Big difference in weather. Last time I was down here, it was sunny, windy, warm. Today is calm, overcast, and cold. Solid 10 and a half inch fish, good eater. Here I was worried it was gonna be slow. Psh. Oh ye of little faith. Of course, I am using brush pile jigs, guys, so that does kind of give me a little bit of a advantage. Yeah, they're gonna bite down here for us today. I don't think there's any question on that. I think one hit that on the fall. May have to set that cork just a little bit more shallow. I'm fishing just a little bit closer to the edge of the main current here in this little creek. In my previous episode, I was literally fishing like two, three feet off the bank and had that cork set at about 12 inches deep and was just really, really found them right up here on the bank line feeding in the slack water. Today, I think with some of the weather changes that we've had, this cold front move through, they may be stationed more off over into the deeper part of this creek. That's of course just me thinking. Top two fish over there though, so that's telling you something. Both the fish I caught though came off the top jig, so that's what makes me think I probably should go back just a little bit more shallow on this cork. 
we may start alternating colors on them too just to keep them from getting tired of seeing what I'm pitching. We're going to adjust this cork real quick. Get it slid down just a little bit, about right there. I'd say that top jig's about a foot, bottom jig's about a foot and a half. There he is. It's another good fish. Top jig again, guys. This color worked good for me down here the other day, so I'm not changing it. Starting off, just like in my previous episode, with a brush pile jigs, hammer, ghost hunter, solid white and chartreuse color, which is great in these dirty, dingy waters. We'll bump this one, see if he hits 10. Man, we're gonna have to get that big 13 incher out of there because he's too pretty of a fish to go in the fryer. Oh yeah, 10 and a half inch fish, easy all day. That fish came pretty quick after I adjusted that cork. Tell you guys what, I, I was gonna go hit a smaller pond that's fairly close to where I live. I actually could have been there fishing a whole lot faster than what it took me to get out here to this creek. But um, the thing with that little pond is I generally have the best luck on it when the wind is out of the southeast. And the wind is the exact opposite. We got wind out of the northwest today and I just did not want to chance it. Little dinker. So I headed back out here. I figured out here a couple days ago had some good success. Head back out here and see if maybe we could still catch a few fish on this creek spot. And so far, it looks like I made a good call. One just shy, one dink, two in the bucket, and a 13-inch pig that was gifted to me that we're going to gift back to Mother Nature. All right, y'all, we're going to turn this 13-inch pig loose. Check him out. He's got a big old snoot on him. That's one heck of a black nose, y'all. We're going to let him loose. Oh, he's ready. There he goes. The one real positive thing is, guys, the wind is not blowing like it was the other day. So I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this video just a scotch more than the video that I put together on my previous episode. No, oh, I didn't even know he was on. Another little dink. All right, small fry. Get on back out there. Get bigger. Ooh, that's a real good fish, guys. That is a solid fish. Oh yeah. He is digging. Yep, he'll probably go 11. First black nose of the day, at least black nose of any size. But man, look at how thick he is. I mean, he is just a healthy creek fish. You gotta love that. Yep, fish hits right at 11. Whoo! Yes, sir! Well, it looks like we're out of nibble. I think it's time to give it a little tipping. What I need to do is talk to the fellers over there at Brush Pile Jigs and get me some of their jig juice. That way I don't have to use these nibbles. Nibbles are nibbles and jig juice, guys. That's a great way to add a little scent to these plastics. Just increase your chances a little bit on catching a fish. Make it smell a little more natural, you know what I'm saying? What's your opinion on tipping jigs? Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. He's a good one too, probably the biggest of the day. 
Yep. Boy, he swiped at that funny. I hooked him on the outside of the mouth. Quality fish. I don't even think we're going to bump him. We're just going to put him in. That's up to number five, y'all. Back starting to hurt. Got to knock the winter rust off of it. Five was my magic number when I was down here last time, and then <clears throat> they slowed down on me. So we're already up to five. Let's hope they don't slow down on me. Ooh, all right, y'all. We're going to switch it up to little Disco Gold Brush Bandit. Same depth. Just a little different color at them. See if they like it. All right, Dinker Dude. Get on out of here. Ha! Huh. One little freaking dink crappie on this color. We might have to go back to Ghost Hunter. There we got us one. He's a good one too, y'all. Of course, camera angle sucked on that. Sorry. But he's a good one. Oh, yeah. Solid creek crappie. Well, we broke the streak, we're up to six. Like I said, last time I was down here, five seemed to be about as far as I could get. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna change things up. We're gonna go a little shallower again. Work a little closer to the bank, see if there's any of them up there. And there's definitely some fish chasing bait right up in here. Starting to see a lot of action on top of the water. Well, I'm gonna try it down here a little, a little bit. Oh, there's a fish. He's a good one too. Looks like a bass. Yep. I was hoping it was a crappie. And just a chunky old creek bass. Blunk. Well, all right. Ain't no sense in beating a dead horse. If they ain't hitting the color, change it up. We're gonna try out a little June bug. And we'll see what they think of the June bug. Hopefully they decide to uh, start biting again. None of that's probably going in this video, Justin. I'm just talking to be talking. Walkie, walkie, talkie, talkie. Pass on the ground. There's a good one. That's a real good one. Oh yeah. That's a solid fish, guys.
Beautiful. Number seven. Another mohawk. All right, y'all. I do believe I'm going to wrap this one up. We pretty much uh, picked this creek apart in this little section that I'm fishing right here and warm out. We ended up with seven good keepers, so nice solid trip out. Early spring, again, post-cold front. I wasn't expecting much coming out here, but was gladly surprised to go home with a few extra fillets for the freezer. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And remember, folks, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. We'll see you on the next one.